special place here in Lincoln Beach. We sit forward of a nine mile strip of water that acts for us as a recreational pond, a magnet for tourism, a palette on which we watch the sunset at night, and just a place to enjoy and meditate. Today is about water and respecting it, regardless of what walk of life you're in, male, female, whatever religion, water plays an integral part in all our lives. I'm going to take a minute here, because if I don't do it now, we will forget. I want to introduce the former mayors of Huntington Beach that are here. Mayor Don McAllister. <laughs> Mayor Peter Green. Mayor Dave Sullivan, <laughs> Mayor Kathy Green, <laughs> Mrs. Gil Copert, Gil is in the hospital right now. We have to <laughs> Shirley Detloff and her lovely husband Bob. <laughs> We're also blessed today to have United States Congressman Dana Robacher. Representative and proclamation from State Assemblyman Travis Allen. <laughs> Representative from Assemblyman Matt Harper's office. <laughs> Julie Toledo to lead from the City of Huntington Beach. <laughs> P.T. Townen. <laughs> Rock and Fig. Rock and Fig. We have uh, Councilwoman and soon to be Mayor Barbara Delfez. <laughs> and we have Planning Commissioners Lynn, Lynn Samara and Patrick Brennan. <laughs> I'd like at this time to bring forward Pastor Sumo for the invocation. I'm sorry, my apologies. There's one word I've heard all morning since 7 o'clock. You know what that word is? Day. 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 Obviously, I'm not Pastor Sumo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Curry, member of the Baha'i Faith, president of the Greater Huntington Beach Interfaith Council. Good morning, good morning. Thank you all for coming. On behalf of the Greater Huntington Beach Interfaith Council, I welcome you to the ninth annual Blessing of the Waves. The Greater Huntington Beach Interfaith Council is a gathering of representatives of faith-based communities and individuals dedicated to understanding, respecting, promoting, celebrating spiritual and cultural diversity. Of all the diversity that we think may exist, the one thing we have in common, water. We all need it in one way or another. Water comes to us in many forms. As you can see, we've got one today. From the saltwater oceans in front of you, which I'm not certain you can see right now, to the 65% that's in your water, or in your body, to the ancient frozen water that's in the glaciers, 
to the fresh, crystal clear mountain lakes. So with us needing water, it's not surprising our creator or whatever name that your faith tradition gives to that wonderful, holy person that we call God. It's surprising that he would not, that he would teach us using water. From the earliest days of faith, when Abraham resided by an oasis, a spot in the barren desert that has life around it because of its water. To the Hindus believing that the river Ganges is the personification of the deity Ganga. To the Zoroastrians believing that water is the liquid manifestation of light and splendor. To the day when Moses struck the rock and water gushed forth. To Buddha telling us to be calm as the pure water in a bowl. From the baptism of Jesus to the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, filling a dry well or refilling a dry well so that all could drink and not be thirsty. Today, you will hear many people talking about the different aspects of water, from swimming and surfing to the words of the Almighty, spoken to the many peoples of the world. Words that we hope will inspire you. Words that we hope will move you to action. Words that we hope will reflect, that you will reflect and meditate upon in the days to come. Our God has given some the ability to ride on top of the water. Others the ability to swim through it at tremendous speeds. Me, he gave the ability to sink like a rock. <laughs> Others, as you will hear today, to bless the water. These blessings we give today are not only meant for the ocean here in Huntington Beach or for the surfers that are along the pier today, but for everyone. It is also for those that have perished or been hurt when water has turned destructive. Through these blessings, we extend to all of the land that touches the water, through the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, streams, and ponds. Just as the water touches just as the water in your body touches all of the cells in your body, the water here touches all of the land, and our words and our inspiration and prayers today touch all the people. We go today on a little world that's 75% water that we call home. Once again, I want to welcome you and thank you all for coming to the ninth annual Blessing of the Waves. The young men in front of us and women, they're members of the Hunger Beast Junior Lifeguard Program. Woo! The day was begun by with uh, Clint Carroll's Dirty Water Band. They've been playing since about 7:30. Thank you, Clint. Thank you. gentleman in our community who has um, made a li living out of believing in what most of us believe in, and that's a, a power greater than ours. And he has been suffering through uh, stage four cancer for a long time, but we're blessed to have him today as uh, giving our invocation. Please give a warm welcome to Pastor Sue. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I won't be long. We had <laughs> I won't bore you. But um, I've become an advocate of uh, cancer. Uh, it's a nasty disease. Yeah. Uh, thanks for you guys for praying for me. I've been, I've been in a bed for the past 12 days, and yesterday was the first day I came out in the sun, and it was amazing. So thank you. Yeah. Um, go get your colonoscopy. <laughs> if I did at age 50, I wouldn't be in a position I, would, I am today. Everything would have been good. And uh, 
You know, this thing takes you farther than you ever want to go. I remember when I got out of the hospital, the lady says, oh, you got to go to a chemotherapy class. And one of the classes was how not to mortgage your house because of chemo. And uh, um, I thought it was a joke. So please take me serious and go get your colonoscopy. And another thing that affects our community today, that are two things, three things I really want to say. Um, this week I dealt with forced suicides. Mm. And it's close to everyone. Something about blessing the waves. God is our creator. He creates waves, but he made us in his image. And this week as I dealt with the suicide, that was far too many. You cannot do this life alone. That's right. And God blesses people. So I want God to bless us today. Not only the waves, the waves is going to be constant. That's it's a right. promise from God. It's constant. But he's concerned about me and you. And I remember last night I shared with our, our, our little community last night, I said, I grew up in Hawaii, of all things, playing um, cowboys and Indians, you know? <laughs> you play cowboys and Indians, right? <laughs> I didn't know what cowboys and Indians was. <laughs> but what was funny about playing cowboys and Indians, they always chose me to be the cook. <laughs> <laughs> you go, bok choy, where's our food, you know? <laughs> but one thing I learned about cowboys and Indians is there was a time of surrender. Someone, there's a winner and there's a loser. In God's economy, it's always win-win for us. But the thing about being on God's side is surrendering to God. That's right. And I want to ask you a simple gesture. If you feel uncomfortable, it's all cool. And if you, you're too cool and you don't want to raise your hand, that's good too. You know, God sees you. But this morning as I pray, I want you to just lift up your hand saying, you know what, I surrender this morning. I surrender. Because you can't do it alone. We can't do it alone in, in the rate the world's going, technology's changing. I mean, I had a five, four-year-old kid telling me how to use my phone last night. I'm Japanese. Dude, half of these parts come from Japan. And you're not even Chinese, even though it's made in China. So it's about surrender today. Surrendering who created this all that we may enjoy this beautiful place called Huntington Beach. So I'm going to invite you, and I, I say, you don't have to. It's just a gesture of saying, you know what, God, I recognize who you are. I want to surrender to you this morning. So I'm going to pray. I ask you, kindly of bow your head, shut your eyes, and if that's you this morning, and we're surrendering to God, saying, God, you know what, I come and surrender to you. You know when you surf big surf, I experience. I have a picture of me surfing in Hawaii last October, and it's me going down the face of a big wave. And people go, wow, and, but they didn't know, they didn't know the, the outcome of the wave. Well, I almost drowned. And all you do is surrender. You know, they say, don't fight. And you know, they say, just relax, hold your breath, be calm. And I was for about five seconds, and I said, forget this, and I panicked. <laughs> And I came up, arms swinging, and the first thing I, I recognized that my arms was up in the air like, hey, I need air. But most of all, I needed God that day. And th that form of surrender came really well, well as I raised my hand because he saw me on the beach. But God sees you. So this morning as we pray, I'm going to ask you if that's you. Let's just raise our hand to you as a gesture this morning. Saying, God, I recognize you. God, all of us, we recognize you. But for those who are raising our hands, we come to you, we surrender, God, to you. Help us. Help us to live this beautiful life that you've given us. Thank you for the waves, God. Thank you that you've given us a gift. Our creator who's given us a creation to enjoy called the waves. And it brings us all together. But this morning, we recognize who, we, who you are. We lift up our hands to you, God. I, I pray this morning that you would bless everyone here that you would bless our beach, that it would be a safe beach from this day until we meet next year again in 2017, God. That you would keep the beach safe from harm, people safe from harm, God. That you would bless the city for all its works and all the things it does for the tourists and the visitors and the residents, God. Keep our city safe. We thank you. We recognize who you are. And Jesus, we love you. 
And God, I thank you for this life. We thank you that we woke up and we breathe. Sometimes we forget the, the simple things of that we get to eat, <laughs> that we get to smell, that we get to see. We thank you for these things, God. We thank you for the gifts that has been, been bestowed on us, those who, for those of us who surf, for those of us who build surfboards, for those of the lifeguards who watch over the beach. Thank you for the people who created this event that we can recognize who you are. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, folks. Pastor Sumo, please stay there for a moment. Well, for those of you who have never experienced the power of Sumo you have this morning, there's an organization at Huntington Beach called uh, Surfboards on Parade. How many people have heard of Surfboards on Parade? an amazing organization a couple years old that totally focused on raising money to fight skin cancer. They they think so much of, of uh, Pastor Suma that we're going to go to a very beautiful little presentation to thank God and Sumo for life. Uh, Mr. Jeff Snow, uh, president of uh, Rainbow Environmental, a, a Republic company. Aloha Surf City! Aloha. Blessing of the waves we're here today to say thank you for the blessing of Pastor Sumo Sato. This incredible link between faith, God, the water, and life has been promoted perhaps more by Pastor Sato than anybody else. Surfboards on Parade was founded by the Rotary Club of Huntington Beach, where we put service above self to help do good and make the world better. We are very proud to partner with the Orange Coast Memorial Foundation and their Cancer Institute this year in raising funds to help eradicate skin cancer. And we do it through a unique art experience. Our backdrop today shows some of the unique art pieces that were formed and created in collaboration between very iconic surfboard shapers and world famous artists. We have a special unveiling just behind me that will be a gift of life for Pastor Sumo Sato. This collaboration was made from two lifetime and dear friends of Pastor Sato's. Our shaper is none other than Rick Rockin' Fig Fignetti. <laughs> Big, come on up. And the artist who expresses the life and achievements and love of Pastor Sumo Sato is Robert Chewy Madrigal. So Pastor Sumo Sato, with a heart full of love, full of God, and as big as the ocean, Surfboards on Parade, the Rotary Club of Huntington Beach, and the Orange Coast Memorial Foundation present to you. Well, Sumo, I hope you're still can you find a place in the house for that. Kind of feeling a little uh, tear jerked already from uh, listening to your speech just a couple seconds ago. Uh, actually, I didn't shape that board. My my buddy Bob did, but uh, did a heck of a job. And uh, just want to say a few words. So stoked to be a part of this gift for Pastor Sumo, my friend who's done so much for the serving community, given us the right direction to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Sumo's got his toughest battle right now, but let me tell you, his faith has never wavered. My buddy uh, Chewy Madrigal uh, painted this board, um, couldn't be here today, he's in, he's in Mexico helping out with the national surf team down there and, and uh, just wanted to tell you that you know, he loves you. Thanks for everything you do and uh, me and Chewy kind of, uh, you know, we kind of talked about that board and you know, the perfect waves. You look in the sky, there's a, there's a cross there too. and. Uh, it's not, not done yet, Sumo, because when he gets back, he's putting you on the, 
on the painting. <laughs> you on the painting and uh, with your board. So he's going to do that when he gets back. Um, I just want to say that, you know, I'm just looking forward for the day that we're back out on North Side together, surfing good waves, and, uh, you know, and if dreams come true, maybe that, uh, you know, one day we'll go to Tavaru again and uh, surf some cloud, cloud break left. So, love you, brother, and Chewy loves you, too, and thanks, everybody, for showing up here today, and, and thanks for Jody McCain to let me be a part of this special gift for, for my buddy, Pastor, and Sumo. Thank you, thank you. And Mayor Pro Tem Dave Sullivan. How many times have you been mayor, Dave? Three. <laughs> By the way, uh, a correction to the program. Uh, one of the former mayors wasn't introduced, though he saw himself in the bathroom mirror this morning. <laughs> former Mayor Dave Garofalo. <laughs> Thanks for all you've done with this traditional event. And Linda Moulton Patterson. Hi there. Thank you all for being a part of this fantastic tradition. It gets bigger every year. The blessing of, wa of the waves is more than just saying a few thankful prayers. This celebration is of our community and our connection together. Sometimes we take living in a coastal community for granted, but today reminds us of just how lucky we are to live in such a special place. Like Bob Hurley has said, half the world's population lives at or close to the beach and the other half is trying to get there. <laughs> <laughs> the blessing of the waves makes me think of the many people around the world who would be, give anything to be part of this uh, celebration today. From a family living in the Midwest, dreaming of a California vacation, hopefully that wouldn't be the Griswolds who had it. <laughs> uh, to our troops fighting overseas, looking forward to coming home, just to put their feet in the sand and go into our beautiful ocean. So, we are so blessed that we have the luxury to come and enjoy the beach every day. I am reminded of the song, America the Beautiful, that says, from the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. Well, we are fortunate enough to be home. This is our home. And the blessing of the waves reminds us of that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. And as we just said real quickly, the members of the Board of Directors of the Greater Huntington Beach Entertainment Council, President Mark Curran, Vice President Marsha Rechsteiner, Past President uh, Charles Lederman, Secretary Maha uh, Rajal, Treasurer Charles Lung, uh, Director Anthony Boger, Director Jimmy Johnson, and Director Kinsley Lund. Uh, I have a surprise guest that we're going to uh, recognize and have uh, United States Congressman Dana Robacher, say a word. Dave reminded us that our brains are made out of water. And sometimes I really think that there's a drought in Washington, D.C. Uh, I am uh, so honored to be here today. Uh, as you know, surfing has meant so much to my life, and uh, it actually brought me together with. Uh, the love of my life, Rhonda, and Rhonda and I are actually uh, uh, poster children uh, for how important uh, interfaith cooperation really is. I was raised a Baptist and she's a Catholic, and so, uh, but, but the love of our love of each other and our love of the ocean meant so much to us, and uh, let me just say, I'm going to leave a little bit early today. 
Uh, usually, I actually went to paddle out before. I have such arthritis in my arm right now that I can't go out and surfing. I haven't been surfing in a year. But I'm getting that fixed, and my goal is that 70 years old, I want to be paddling out again. <laughs> so, but uh, I, uh, being in Washington, I don't get a chance to be with my family. We actually go to the <coughs> church down the road, and I'm going to take my kids to church with my family. But uh, my heart's here with you. My heart's with the surfers. I am so proud to be part of a community like this. God bless you. And Dave, could you present me to the Thank you. God has blessed us. And I will say, anybody who can serve in Tamarua, can serve cloud break, has to believe in God. That's the thing. <laughs> Without further ado, our own Huntington Beach Lifeguard Band. How are you guys doing today? Great morning. As we fix the waves. Um, this band is all about a bunch of friends getting together and living here 36 years ago and playing music and enjoying time together. We've been playing for a while. We're all lifeguards. We look out over the waves every day and enjoy ourselves and uh, we hope you enjoy the music. We're going to, because we're Surf City, we're going to go ahead and play some surf songs for you. Yeah. 